So yesterday we went on a bicycle ride and today the painting we're going to do is based on that bicycle ride. And before I show you how I did that, I want to show you a little clip from our bicycle ride. So hang on. We are riding the bicycles. As Wait a minute. All right, back on the bikes. There's Robert back here. My, my phone is my rear view mirror. Just thought I'd show some woods and let you hear the birds. Yeah. Also, if you listen, you'll hear a train in the background. In the distance. Not sure where those tracks are though. Yeah, it was a fun day and Rob and I had a good time and we went a big five miles. I know it's nothing for you or for many of you, but for us, it was a big deal. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful day. So I took a screenshot from, as you saw in that, in that little clip, and I, I didn't duplicate the screenshot exactly, but I got the, the essence of it. And I'll show you how I painted that. It was a fun day. It's a fun day. And this card now becomes a, a nice memory for us. Probably keep that one for ourselves. All right. And by the way, a lot of you have asked, do you sell the cards? Yes and no. I have them, but I, I mostly just give them away. So... All right, that's enough of that. I don't even know how to explain how I do that. I don't even know how I do that. It just happens. All right, let me show you how I painted this card. The bicycle ride. The bicycle ride with the dappled light. Here we go. Okay, good morning. Yes, yesterday was a fun day and a very accomplished feeling day. We went bicycling, as you know. So, so I took a, a picture, as you know, I already have shown you the, the uh, a little bit of the footage from our, our bicycle ride and, and, um, and the, the still shot from the video that I want to use as a reference photo. So basically, let's see what we got here. I'm trying to plot this out a little bit. So that's going to be where the road is over there. And even though there was a road coming this way, I'm probably not going to make it that obvious. And it's not a road. There's no cars on it. Although, to be honest, there were some fast bicycles on it yesterday. <laughs> some people have those um, electric bicycles. And they go fast. They do go fast. And when they have those big tires, they make make a lot of noise yeah so this bicycle that I'm drawing in here now is Robin's bicycle and um, we had a good time we hadn't gone bicycling in a very 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 long time and so it was kind of fun to go out and you know when you're a kid and you go bicycling, you don't even think about it, you know, but we were definitely thinking about it yesterday, but it was fun. I mean, we went five miles. I know that's not a lot to some of you, but to us, it was a, it was a challenge that we met. And um, along the way, there was a, uh, disc golf course where people throw frisbees into nets and they do it in a way that's kind of like golf well it is played just like golf we have a certain par and you have um, certain distance between the holes i don't know it's not holes and nets but anyway so i'm just gonna try to sketch her bicycle in here the, the spokes 
I have to leave them white because that's that's the best way to do this because the sun is hitting them. And I'm going to use the pen, the pen, the pen and ink, this one here, to, uh, to, to create the fine black lines. So, just trying to think how Robin's bike looks here. And then once I get the bicycle drawn in there, then the rest is, is all landscaping. So, kind of should be pretty, pretty easy, I think. So, and even if this doesn't look exactly like Robin's bike, I'm not going to worry about it. Just a bicycle, as long as I get it, as long as it looks like a bicycle, <laughs> as long as I get it looking right. So let me tell you about yesterday. Um, first of all, the place we went is, it's like four loops, four little loops. And you could, you could do anything you want. A lot of people jog. A lot of people just walk, and then, then there were some bicyclists like us, and like I say, there were some some people with those electric bicycles. And so, so we took our time and we did it. You know, when you go downhill, you fast. You can go fast. So I was applying the brakes because I didn't want to go so fast. I was a little bit concerned. If if you saw the video, I was wearing a helmet yeah I know it's kind of goofy looking but what the heck what the heck you don't want to break your neck hey what the heck don't break your neck I just thought of a, a campaign slogan or something get people who wear helmets I never wore a helmet when I was a kid did you did you wear a helmet when you were a kid on a bicycle no I don't think any of us did but what we do now, if you want to know the truth, there's been two incidents, one for Robin, one for me, in the past where we fell off the bike. Yeah, I know, that's not good. But not while we were riding. It's ironically enough, neither, neither she nor I fell while we were riding. She fell while we were waiting to, to cross the road, but it was, there was no cars, so I don't want you to think there were cars. It was just one of those trails, and there was like a pedestrian path, and somehow she lost her balance while she was sitting there. And I fell at a campground. I was riding, but really super slow. What, what, what happened was I was carrying stuff. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy on a bicycle, but I was, I was carrying, I think I was carrying a chair, <laughs> a chair, I think I was, I was going to see Robin's brother camp, so I wanted to bring, oh, I know what it was, I had a, uh, hmm, I, can't remember, I had some kind of a gift for him and his wife, for, and I wanted to bring it to them, so I was carrying that, I think I was carrying a chair also. So there's Robin's, yeah, and, and well, with, with Robin, I'll tell you what it was, she had a, a basket on the front of her bicycle, and one of the things we learned is bring water, bring water, and well, we brought away maybe too much water, and so the water was, when Robin had a basket on the front of her bicycle, and, uh, it was making her um, awkward or lopsided or something. All right, so there's gonna be the, the kickstand and there's the back of the bike. And the tires, let's see if I got the whole bike there. I think I do. And then the rest is gonna be landscape. All right, let's put the, um, the black part of the tire in. Just grab the black pen. Let's give a little semblance of the black rubber tire. And so yesterday was Thursday. I was surprised how many people were actually out on the trail. There were a lot of people there. There was even somebody we knew. We bumped into somebody who knew us from our old radio days. And 
you know, at first, here's the truth, it was wobbly for me, it was wobbly for Robin. It was like getting on the bicycle for the first time. And in the video that we made, we say more than a year, but I truly think it's been, I, I bet it's been closer to five years and maybe even longer. Yeah, we didn't, it's been a long time since we rode the bicycles. So, but still in the beginning when we first got on the bicycles, yes, it was, it was a bit wobbly. And, uh, but then we got, you know, yeah, they say you get on the bike and it's like, they always compare when you haven't done something in a while. They always say it's like riding a bike. You never forget. Well, I guess that's true. We you didn't forget how to do it. You just kind of had to get back into the swing of it. So. But, you know, the beautiful thing about it is where we were, as you heard in that little clip, the birds... Do you, know, do you remember the other day, I think I read a poem on here, and uh, in the poem, I don't remember what the poem was called, but the poet wrote that um, the song of the birds never gets old. Right? It's like songs of humans, that, oh, I've heard that one before, I'm getting tired of hearing that song, but you never get here, you never get tired of hearing the birds' song. Isn't that true? Isn't, isn't it funny how, like, when we, we um, as humans, we compose a piece with many different musical instruments, they have to work together perfectly. And in nature, when the birds are singing, they all seem to work together perfectly, even though they're not orchestrated in any way, they just, they just work together, you know? You never hear a, a blue jay, <laughs> you ever hear a blue jay and you say, oh my gosh, he's out of tune, oh my gosh, he's not, he's not in perfect time with the rest of the birds, <laughs> you never hear that, right? It's kind of funny if you think about it. I'm just getting this bicycle in here. I'm gonna keep some of these things light colored because they are. Yeah, we did have a good time. And I, and I was proud. I felt like we had accomplished something that it's minor to most of you, but it was major to us. because we don't have a ride. But now that we have, now that we did it yesterday, maybe we'll do it more often. I don't think we'll do it today because my legs and her legs are, well, she said her legs stopped hurting. My, mine is still sore. I noticed that this morning when I got up, I was, I was walking <laughs> a little funky. It was funny. Yeah. How you guys doing? One of these days we'll do a... I don't know how to do the um, interactive videos. I think one way to do it is... I've seen other people like doing these premieres. And you, you put a video up with a certain time and it, you call it a premiere, and then people can comment, and then you, the video maker, which would be me, I can comment to you, even though it's not live. So I don't know if that would be a thing we could do. We just set it up for a certain time. So the bicycle is being built right here with pen and ink. See, this works nicely too because I can, I can, then I can do the, uh, the background, the, the landscaping. 
without having to worry about um, messing up, blending the, the colors. Now, if it was a larger piece of paper, this is just a small um, greeting card, so... So it has a very small surface. I hope that's good. I don't know. I don't know if I got the, everything right here, to be honest with you. Just keep it all. So, so I'm just going to keep lines, and then the rest I'll, I'll make it solid. So the last, uh, when I was a, uh, let's see, the early on in our, in our adult lives, Robert and I actually rode bicycles 50 miles. I, again, again, I know some of you have done like unbelievable distances, but 50 was a big one for us. And it's the longest one we've ever done. And here's how that goes. We found a trail and we had to uh, park a car at one end and then bring the bikes in another car to the other end. And the trail was actually 40, it was 48 miles from the car to the car. <laughs> from one car to the other car, it was 48 miles. And uh, let's see what else happens here. Um, So we rode the bicycles like 25 miles. So now we're more than halfway there, right? And we were worn out. But if we turned around, it's gonna be 50 miles. If we just kept going forward, it's gonna be 20, or it's gonna be 48 miles. There, that's, that's the number, okay. So the decision was made to just go forward, just do the whole thing like we planned. Don't, don't, don't abandon the, the plan. And uh, so that's what we did. And when we got to the 48 mile mark, yes, we got to the 48 mile mark. And Robin said, we should go the whole 50. Or we should make it a whole 50. And so the way we made it a whole 50 was we went one mile more <laughs> past the car and then one mile back that added two miles to our to our journey and we had 50 so we can claim 50 miles was the longest we've ever done meanwhile just to compare that to what other people were doing other people on that same trail were going faster and both ways meaning they were going either 100 or 90 what would it be 96 if it was 48 and 48. Yeah, so some people are really good at bicycling and really have long endurance. I've seen them, and maybe you've seen them too, like in the mountains. Maybe you're one of them. You're in the mountains, and these guys on these bicycles are passing you. <laughs> you're in a car, and they're going uphill, and they're passing you. It's like, whoa, there's no way I could ever do that. Well, saying no way is probably not accurate. Well, it probably is now at this age. Yeah, it's been a long time. All right, now I'm purposely not leaving. I'm not putting any spokes in there because I want the spokes to be white, not, not dark. All right, now the only other sketch line I put was that line right there for the road. Let's see how this works out. Now we do the paint. So it took me about 17 minutes to get that sketch in there. All right, we don't need these tools anymore. And now we start to add the background. The background, the sky first. First we get the sky. So physical challenges are 
an amazing thing. You know, you watch them all the time on the TV or you read about them or you know somebody. Have you ever known somebody who did one of those, like, those races where the, uh, the track is kind of obstacle course kind of a thing? And uh, my son did one. My Robert's daughter did one. I can't remember what they're called now. They have a name for them. And they have to go under things and crawl over things and swim through water and go through mud and go under barbed wire. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They do all these things. Well, as you can tell, I'm making the sky blue because it's a beautiful, it was a beautiful day yesterday. It really was. It really was very nice. Okay. That's it's good enough for the sky, I think. Put a few. Lift the blue up a little bit, put a little bit of clouds in there. Most of that's gonna be covered by trees anyway. And then underneath it, I'm gonna get some yellow and green. Let's do it right here. This is where that pen and ink works nicely because I can go right behind the bicycle. And it doesn't smear it, I hope. Is it smearing it? Oh, I don't think it should. Let's put some green, some yellow green. duplicate the uh, the photo the reference photo a hundred percent I'm just trying to get the idea what I liked about the photo is it, as I mentioned I like the uh, the dappled light so there's the tree line there's the bicycle let's see a little bit of what is this color yeah that's a good brown pulled off the side of the road, which is what we did. This picture was taken from a bench because I love benches. <laughs> I'm taking a walk or bicycling yesterday. The bench was a welcome sight. I'm mixing yellow and purple to try to create some dappled light look over here. I've got the bicycle. A little bit of a shadow here. I'm trying to think what way is the light coming? Come on. Not really too concerned about it. Just as long as it looks like dappled light. I think the trees are just just giving us this dappled effect. It's already, you can already see the dappled effect, right? You can already see it. Is it wet? Here. 
And the dapple light would be over in the, the dirt area too. It's a very well maintained uh, trail. Whoever takes care of it, I, I, I'm going to say it's probably the county. But it's very nicely done. Very, very safe feeling. Of course, I don't trust anybody. I don't mean to be negative here, but I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want Robin to be out there by herself. I just don't trust. I just don't trust. I trust people after I get to know them. And sometimes that could be a mistake too, right? But I felt safe. We felt safe. I'm sure having this old man there was probably... <laughs> Robin won't admit it, but because she's tough. But I, I feel like she's more comfortable in a situation like that when I'm with her or a, a guy is with her in general. I said to my niece one time, I got a niece, she's... Maybe she's not even 20 yet. And she was talking about taking a trip. And I said, well, you need to bring a, a big relative with you. A big male relative. That's what you need to bring. You don't need a big boyfriend. You just need a big male relative. <laughs> Somebody who's going to have no ulterior motive other than to keep you safe. Hmm. So now we have the bicycle in the light. What do you think about that? This I'm not so sure where I want the, the shadow of the bicycle, but I kind of like the way it looks already. And I'm purposely avoiding this area to let it dry, and it looks like it dried, so. All right, let me make, make some more darker browns here to uh, add the dappled effect over there. And then take some of this dark area get some over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me put that tree in there. I think the tree needs to be there. Let's see, the tree's gonna go. the top of the card. Put that tree right there. I'm putting in a foreground tree. We really shouldn't have done it so soon. But I'll work around it. Sometimes watercolor just does the work for you, which is what's happening here. It's doing some nice little lights and darks. green in there. There's some a little bit darker green shades.
Let's see, as soon as that dries, we can add some more to that. comes through. Lots of little dots here. There were other bicyclists, and I did get some shots of some of the other bicyclists. And I almost used one of the other ones, but I wanted, I just wanted an, a, an empty bicycle, I think. Just parked bicycle. This is where we parked and we got some, we had water with us. We only take one bottle of water each, and, and you know, we were only going to go five miles, so we were sort of comfortable with our choice of challenges, you know, I, we, I don't think we'll ever challenge ourselves to another 50 mile run, but, or ride, ride, not run. And you know what, we, you know how you have to walk uphill sometimes? Well, that's, that was a point of pride too yesterday for both of us, because we, we were able to ride the bicycle up the hill. We didn't have to, we didn't have to walk it up the hill. There was a few hills on this trail. And uh, like I say, we, we managed to struggle. <laughs> it was a struggle, but we did it. gonna be. I don't know what we're doing today, but it won't be bicycle riding. My, my grandson likes astronomy, so I ordered a book yesterday from Amazon. It says 50, it's called 50 things for kids, 50 things to look for through your telescope. 50 things in the sky, I guess, that that you can find. I guess it shows you how to find them. So my son is teaching my grandson how to use the telescope and how to look for things in the sky like the planets and he already knows more about the planets than I ever will. 
He's only five, so. It's one of the great things about getting old is, is you're old. If you have children, or if you know, if you have nephews and nieces, or if you have just neighbor kids, that's one of the reasons I, I don't think I would like to live in a 55 plus community. I just, I feel like I'd miss the sounds of the children in the distance and the school bus. I was like when the school bus lets the kids out and, and they seem so happy they're out, they're out of school. You can remember that, right? You, we were all kids at one time, so we remember that stuff. I'm not really happy with this tree at all. I feel like I gotta really work it to get it back to where I would like it to be. There's green everywhere. There was, it wasn't like a solid, a solitary tree. There was lots of trees. Just in this picture, I thought I'd put one dominant tree. Well, the one thing about art is it's it's it never looks the way you exactly pictured it. Uh, well, if you're doing a portrait, it does. What do you guys think of that portrait of, the, of King Charles, by the way? All that red. It kind of took me aback when I saw that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a old-fashioned guy. Maybe that's just a new thing. Make everything look red. I think it was supposed to represent the bloodline that that puts him in that royal category. But I think our little landscape is happening now. Some very dark areas and very light areas. change this composition a little bit, make this a little bit of a grassy area, just to add some darkness to weigh it down on the bottom, I think. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's coming around. All right, let's use that thin brush. How are we doing with time? 37 minutes. All right, let's see. I don't know how Bob Ross did it, 28 minutes. Jeez, 28 minutes. 
Okay, some real thin lines here. Oops, it's a little bit wet still. It's always good to add some vertical lines. It's amazing how how it works. Make that bicycle seat a little bit darker. Even if it's not defined of what the vertical lines are, in this case, your you, your mind your mind's eye will say, "Well, that's a tree, obviously." But it, like if it was in a city so the setting, it might be a phone pole, utility pole. But sometimes vertical lines just make a picture come alive. Right now, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this with the white spokes there. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Let me put some blue on the bicycle because the bicycle is blue. Let's see if I can work that in there. Okay, let's keep it separated so you get some reflective light happening there. I think that's good. It's just a hint of blue, not much. Just a little sense of blue. All right, now. I'll try to take this purple. Make some of these shadows darker. And this is where some of the, the white from the spokes is going to show up, I hope. So all I want to do is just keep some, some areas that are white. Don't have to be perfect. You see what I'm doing? I'm adding kind of this yellow and purple mix. Oops, that's green. It's kind of a like background color, and then some of it is washed out by the spokes. Here we go.
So we got the dappled light. Hopefully we got the dappled light look here. Okay, okay that's okay. I like that, I guess. Let's get this tree a little bit darker. Depth over here. Back here, a little bit more. trick is to make sure that the light comes through so that light that first layer of yellow green is not completely obliterated Put a little bit more green over here and I think we're done. There we go. I guess, I don't know, I'm not completely happy with it, but I guess it works. I've never ridden a bicycle built for two, by the way. For some reason that song is in my head. Okay, well there we go. There's a card to remember the bicycle ride. Let me fold it. It looks dry enough. I can fold it. There. Oops, sorry. I didn't have it in the camera. There's our bicycle in the woods. There we go. 
Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Looks like it took about 48 minutes, and, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.